by today and took some time out of your day. So glad to see you and thank you very much for um, taking some time out of your busy day. Today, the cards we're going to make all about sunshine. My name is Linda Fippen and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Ontario, Canada. So let's get started. The stamp set that I've chosen today is um, called After the Storm. And every time after a storm, we get sunshine. So all the cards today, the theme is sunshine and encouragement. So um, this is found on page 50 of our new catalog. So um, these are some of the pieces that we're using. I did bring in um, a few other items to make our card a little bit more interesting today. So um, this one you will recognize from the Mountain Air set. So I just used the stamp of the mountains and die cut it out like you can see here but um, there's a little bit more to it than that and these leaves are from the iconic dies so they're just little branches that i've used um, and of course this here and the sun is from our set today so our first card is having some sunshine a little sunshine for your day. So I'm going to just move this out of the way. And there are le um, leaves, <laughs> there are clouds in this set. And I want to just give you an idea of how we can make um, different strengths of the ink for our cards. These two, of course, are a little bit darker. This one is a second stamp. So that's how I did that. So the color that I'm using for this particular card is balmy blue. And the and daffodil delight are the two colors right now. So to make these cards with the clouds, the first stamp that you do, of course, comes out a lot darker. And then, without doing anything else, if you just stamp it again with less ink, you get a very soft cloud. And all I did for the clouds was just um, fussy cut them out. And you do not have to stick with the actual outline because every cloud is different so you can see this one here I just cut it smaller because I wanted a smaller one there so those are our clouds so if you've ever looked at sticky notes they've come a long way and the sticky notes that I'm using today are the they lay flat longer so the stickiness is on the entire back which makes it nice to make a mask so i just made a little one in the corner for our sun and the same thing for the inside of the card so i will just get my So the sun has some nice, big, beautiful rays, and I've got the sticky note on those corners to represent our sun, of course. And here are some rays. So for the front of the card, I just um, started to Keep some of it in on top of the sun, which is okay because you won't see it. And then that one there. And the same thing. 
looking for the inside. And for this one, I just didn't want it to take up the whole card, so I just kind of did that. Okay, so there is our sun. And I took off, so you take off your, your um, sticky notes and I used just a dabber to get a very strong sun. So there we go, the sun coming out of the corner. And then this card is really quite, quite simple. Um, so this one goes on the inside and this one goes on the outside. And we just get some, a little bit of glue. So why don't we put glue on both of them at the same time. Now these are just 18th of an inch um, border because the sky is blue. That one is going to go on that side here. Oh my goodness. You know when I'm making these cards they go to bit they go together a lot easier than they do when I have an audience. Okay, so there we have it on the front of the card. And this one is going on the inside of the card. With our sun at the top. Okay, the sentiment says a little sunshine for your day. And there's nothing like waking up in the morning to the beautiful sunrise and having sun all day. So just stick that on the bottom. And the clouds Again, when you look up in the sky, the clouds are wherever they are. Some days there's more clouds, and some days you look up and the sky is as blue as anything. So three little clouds, and this comes with some birds. I'm just going to open that up so that it doesn't. Three. 
three, and then there's this one is a little bit smaller, so you can. There we go. And to finish off the card, just put some embellishments on these opal rounds. And I just put them on the uh, sentiment. And one on the bottom. And these have a little bit of a sparkle to them. And I, one last thing that I did was put a little bit of Wink of Stella on the clouds to give them a little sparkle. And there is our first card. Quite simple to put together. Our second card is, it says, thought you could use some sunny thoughts today. Now, we all can use sunny thoughts every day. So let me just get rid of our sun here. And I'm going to get a clean paper. So the colors that I'm using on this card is Mango Melody, Pumpkin Pie, and real red. And I'm just going to use the blending brushes. So. Now, um, I used the same thing um, sticky notes except this one is white so the first thing that we're going to do is put some mango melody and you just do some blending And we're going to let it run into each other, so. And a little bit of pumpkin. And you go off of the paper just a little bit because you don't want to get a, a lot of ink in one spot. And to get the colors to blend, you can go over it. Like I can take this here and just go over the pumpkin. And then you can see how it blends nicely. And then some real red at the top. could be a nice sunset actually instead of sunrise and the more you blend the smoother it gets and you can add more color And you're done whenever you feel like you're done, to be quite honest. Um, so just let me see that a little closer. 
See how the colors are blending? It looks actually darker. So I'm going to put a little bit more on. It looks a lot dark, more darker from my point of view, where I'm sitting than where you're sitting. So I'll put just a little bit more. And then we'll put a little bit of real red up here. Okay, so there's our blending. That turned out quite nice. The messiest part of this is getting, trying not to get the tips of your fingers in your ink pads. So far, so good. Okay, so those are our blend, blending brushes done. So then I peeled off, no, not yet, didn't peel that off yet. So we're going to use the rays of the sun for this as well. And you can actually start in the middle. And it doesn't again matter if you're overlapping over the your post-it note because we're going to take it off anyway. take our little post-it note off and it is all white but we do want a little bit of yellow to go in there but enough that you can see that it is the sun so that's how it turned out. Pretty good, pretty good. So far, so good. Okay, I stamped the sentiment already. So I think what I'm going to do, I hadn't figured out what to do on the inside of the card yet, so I'm gonna think about that for a few minutes. Um, I've showed you this trick before and I'm using it on two of my cards today. And that is to get a background on your um, sentiment. This one here, I'll cut down the middle. So I have two pieces. Then I take some glue and I line it up so that you get the a border just on the, the top and the bottom or each side and just hold it for a second and so instead of just being a white um, a white sentiment it has a nice black border and I'm just going to put some and you can see the cheating part of it but no one's going to see that and I'm just going to put some dimensions on the back Now I also, before I put it on the card, I took some of our twine and just put it through the white. Okay, 
anyway, so I'll just cut that off and take off the other end of our dimensions. There looks good and then I just put these branches like a bit of a bush or whatever you want to call it and so I just little dabs of glue will do it so don't let the height of it scare you because you don't need the entire height of it. You just use whatever whatever works. Whenever you get a new glue bottle, glue comes out a little faster than we want. Fortunately, it dries clear. understand why I get so much glue on my fingers. Okay, so anything that hangs over, of course, we're just going to cut off. And it just looks like a plan. And I'm just going to get rid of all this glue garbage. We'll put this on the front of our card. The nice thing about the glue is that it is a little, you can give it a little bit of movement there. And the only thing we're missing on this is a few I found where are they here they are. some nice yellow. These are the in colors. So I'm thinking this is the papaya color. That I could probably put some something else on the inside which I'm just drawing a blank right now so anyway it's there for later and there is card number two and our last and final card is A little bit more sunshine over mountains. So what I did for this one, I've already stamped our mountains in navy. So this is the set uh, mountain air. So there's the mountain range and I used this for the inside, the stamp for the inside of the sun. So, 
we don't want to lose the inside of the sun and we don't want to lose our birds and the color that we're using for this is so saffron and knight of navy so the knight of navy is stamped with the mountains but because i don't want to get any of the uh, rays on the mountains i've used the post-it notes again so we're going to use our rays sun rays again and this time i'll give it a little clear it off from the last color Before we do that, we're going to put the center of the sun on ahead of time so we know where the rays are going to go. So that looks like a good spot, right about there. So the inside of the sun. And then we do the same thing. Except this time I didn't overlap the sun. I just uh, brought them up as close as I could. And it doesn't matter if you go over the mountains because we've got those covered up. So does this feel like sunshine to you? It certainly does. I so enjoyed making these cards just because it, it just felt so happy and so um, so sunny you know nothing like the sun to bring out the best of us okay just one more and we have the sun covering up the entire card So I'm going to pull off our post-it notes and our um, and we have, let's see here, okay. So this card I am using Knight of Navy. And it looks very nice with the so saffron. So let's put it on here. And you know, you never know what's on the other side of our cards because I did a stamp and it didn't turn out. But I just turned it over and did it again. So again, I just wanted an eighth of an inch of a um, border because I wanted the, it's all about the yellows today, yellows and sunshine. So. This is a just because card, just because. And again, how I did that, I uh, took the same shape of the, the original and this one we're going to cut lengthwise. Put glue on both sides. and put the whatever dimension whatever amount of uh, border you want and there we go I 
put dimensions on this one. So we can just put that on our on our card. And this one I put the the um, clouds directly onto the card. But I didn't want them to be quite so dark. So give yourself experiment. So if you want them dark, that's how dark they'll be. But if you want to stamp it a second time, of course it's lighter. So I am going to stamp off and then put some clouds on. Could have used the bigger one. And on the inside, I have some mountains, and I think clouds would look pretty awesome. Okay, and the last thing we want to put on some birds. I put some birds on the sentiment. And I finished it off with gems, rhinestones, champagne rhinestones and I put it on the sentiment. And it's nice that they come in different sizes as well. And that is card number three. So I really hope that you've enjoyed these sunny cards because I definitely enjoyed making them. And they were not too hard to do at all. Let me move all my junk out of the way here. Pretty, pretty simple. Oops, upside down, sorry. Um, lots of sunshine and I hope you have a good sunshiny week and thank you very much for dropping by and thank you for subscribing and I will see you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye for now.